Good evening, everybody. It's Vampire YGO here again. Uh, sorry for the delay on the videos. I know I've only been posting a few in general, but trying to get this thing started. Uh, I just had some stuff going on, but, you know, back on the grind, trying to get some of these videos out before some of the new packs come out, or at least before the Mega Tins, so that way, you know, because I'll have some changes, and I'm sure everybody will have some changes once those new hand traps come out and that spell quick play. Uh, but so far as you can kind of see here, I actually have a Blackluster Soldier updated Incantation deck. It's uh, mainly going second style, but it's actually pretty good. Um, nothing obviously too crazy, but really fun for playing with locals and I've played with it a lot on the Dueling Nexus. Played a few hundred matches with it. It actually does really well going second and, you know, depending on the decks or what negates they have. Uh, but let's get right into it. I got three Beginning Night, as you can see. There, you want to run three of these guys, three of each of the knights. They're extremely important when it comes to banishing them from the graveyard to recur your sources from your deck. Um, yeah, let's see here. Our work on them has always looked dope. It's funny, the light one's actually the dark monster. The dark looking one that looks more like black luster is the light monster. But basically what you do is you really want to see one at least one of these in your first hand no matter which one of them that is with getting the uh ritual spell of the super soldier synthesis especially if you have a blackluster soldier envoy at the beginning or chaos dragon Levionaire, depending obviously on what you got going on but that's an ideal hand is to start with one of these cards which i can go further into once we get more into the actual spells And for the regular other two, I was running three, but I don't know. I feel like I saw the two just as much as I saw them when they had the three. Um, I took out the extra copy for another incantation just to speed up that because you actually want more materials versus less, even though this is obviously a really good searcher. But I see this thing plenty still, especially with the Pot of Extravagance. It's good because you pretty much don't normal summon anything in this deck besides this. Um, unless sometimes maybe the super soldier for a defense or if you're going to be linking if it comes to that this deck version does not link too often but it's come up and then for the boss monsters for the BLS is yeah swap those around a little you want to run three, I was running two for a while, but you want to see these guys, like I said, to basically banish any of your knights. What happens is, you do the incantation, use these guys essentially as the material with the super soldier synthesis, they both go to grave, you banish these guys, they, the monster that you summon with them gets the effect, once, you, once these guys are banished by the effect of the black luster or a chaos dragon levianaire, one of them will get you a ritual monster, and then Beginning Night will get you a Ritual Spell from your deck to your hands. Two great searches right off the bat. This deck has a lot of search power. But it uh, has a hard time recovering if they break the board, but it's also really good at breaking boards itself based on how many effects that the actual Super Soldier gets when you use the Little Soldiers there, or the Knights. And then, so like I said, you want, you know, he's just an easy summon to get out. You can summon multiple of them in a turn. This guy. Two, I was running one, but the effect of, like I said, mixing with the knights, you wanted to see a card that banishes the knights as soon as possible right after you use them. So that way you can actually get the combos going there. And obviously, everyone else knows what Chaos Dragon Levianaire does. You get this card first turn. If you actually go first, you can just start doing some damage. And then for the incantations, one bookstone, two candle, two pencil plume, and then one talismandra. The ritual monsters you see a lot more often than you would see the ritual spells. That's why I have the two candle instead, the pencil plume to recur. Um, you know, you have the Chalice Slime in this deck. 
you run three chalice slimes. So you really actually want to target those candles. And then we'll get to the mosses. Two blackluster soldier, just a standard OG. First edition UV. <laughs> the artwork on these used to be so dope. But two is better than one for sure because you can summon multiple in a turn. The downside to Black Luster Soldier, the Super Soldier, is you can only summon him once per turn. So, you know, having other sources, you can get easily at least another one of these out. Sometimes you get to the point to where you get both of these out, plus a Super Soldier, plus an Envoy of the Beginning, plus a Chaos, like, blah, 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 a Chaos Dragon Levionaire. Speak much? <clears throat> And definitely three of these. One of the coolest artworks, I think, in the game. One of my all-time favorites. Definitely had to get the ulties of all of these ones. I've actually had them for a little while now. But basically what he does is when he destroys an opponent's monster and sends it to the graveyard, they take damage equal to the attack, and then... Basically, the effects that you get off of the knights is what you really want to see, and it's cool because even the regular Black Luster Soldiers, when you do the rituals with essentially using the Black Knight, or any of the knights, this also gains the effects and becomes an effect monster at that point. But you usually want to get him it, so he gets a majority of the effects. Basically, what happens is ideal is if you use both of the knights and you get this on board, his effect is he has his regular attack effect, as you can see, and then he gains three other effects which is freaking broken he gets two banish monsters from play so you get to pick one pick another banish him and he also gets to banish a card from your opponent's hand from play so going first turn that's one of the benefactors if you do ever have to go first with this deck is you want to get him on board with one knight combo and see if you can somehow get a you know hope and pray for a levy and air and then take two cards out of their hand first turn And then, I mean, I can attest to this now. I kind of uh, was a little skeptical on it when it started, at least running three of these when it came to ritual decks. But I, I will definitely admit when I am wrong because I had a few of my fans or a few of the people following us and posting on the channel for the Necros, and they were really recommending triple incantation child sign. So shouts out to them for having me try it. Man, it's any ritual deck needs three of this card honestly you don't want to run any less if you don't know what it does you either you know tribute any other card in your hand or this card which is awesome because you can use it for itself and then you special summon an incantation from your deck and then if you ever have to sometimes you can get him on the field and he can pop a card on the field getting to the spell cards we run two Gateway to Chaos. I was running three, but it's honestly not as important as it would seem. The cool thing about it, besides the fact that when you play it on board, you get to search a Black Luster Soldier Ritual Monster. It gains three counters every time a monster is sent, or monsters is sent to the graveyard. It definitely goes by how many go to that turn. So if they kill two monsters, it technically counts as one phase for a counter, which is kind of weird. But... The way it counts uh, counters on there is once it gets three, you can discard, detach the three of the counters, pay the cost, whatever you want to say, and then what happens is you get to add a ritual spell from your deck and out uh, to your hand. Best part about it is you can take the incantation spell if you need as well. And then for those, the one terraforming to search it for more if you need it. Thin out the deck a little bit. I mean, most ritual decks, again, don't rely on the extra deck at all, even though they keep them around. Triple Pot of Extravagance is a must in this deck. I see, I see this a lot, honestly, firsthand. It's pretty weird. I just know if it's just the way it goes, but I know most other decks I play, I see this one in the hand all the time. Hand Mystic Mind. <laughs> yeah, it's two Preparation of Rites. It's one of my favorite artworks too. I don't know why, it's just a really eerie looking area. And you got the other little guy from the artwork hiding in the back. But yeah, two is fine. Helps you search out the Chalice Limes as your target for this guy. Chalice Lime boosts up the combo, gets you more stuff, obviously. 
one reinforcements. You want to get that knight to hand. I mean, if this was a three, it would be ridiculous. I think this deck would actually be a lot more powerful. And then for the ritual spells, we run one super soldier ritual. I kind of want to run a few different variants, at least of the ritual spells. I have three different. Um, the super soldier ritual is pretty cool because most of them you have to be exact, just like pretty much any ritual spell besides the incantation one there. But what happens is you use this when you bust out the monster doesn't really do much just a regular ritual but when it's in the graveyard you can banish one light monster and one dart monster in this ritual it's a special summon a blackluster soldier monster from your hand ignoring its summoning conditions which is pretty cool again that's what the regular blacklusters can be for if need be two regular super soldier synthesis i wish this card was a hollow it would be awesome to see at least as a super but Secret, I think, would be nuts. <laughs> Imagine, like, a prismatic secret rare of this one. Nasty. This is pretty much the best ritual, uh, for I would say, for this deck. Besides, I guess the incantation one is pretty much a banger for all ritual decks. But for the blacklusters, you get one of the knights in hands. Play this, as long as, obviously, you have a, one of your blackluster variant ritual monsters in your hands. Banish one, or discard one from the deck. And then what happens is... You get the monster out, and then you try to go for your plays with the Black Luster Envoy or a Chaos Dragon. And then Incantation Inception. I was running two of them, but it recurs itself from the graveyard, which is awesome. So, I mean, running at one and how searchable it is. You obviously have to use, also have to have incantations in hand or on field to use it anyway. But the cool thing is they don't have to add up to the specific level of stars. Um, you pretty much just have to go uh, exact or over at that point, and then you can uh, discard a incantation monster or destroy one off of the field, and then you get this card back to your hand and special summon one incantation monster from your deck. Uh, let's see. For the Link Monsters extra deck, I guess I should say. There's a few others besides just the Link Monsters. I run two of Soul. I would want to run three. I just don't have a third one. For the Pot of Extravagance, this is pretty much your main Link, obviously, for Warrior-wise. And the rest is all kind of situational, like I said. Don't Link too often. Security Dragon. And a Feast. For obviously, Rituals. Nightmare Phoenix, one Nightmare Cerberus, pretty much the Nightmare Package, Unicorn, Griffin, it's very far-fetched that you will see, I mean, you can definitely do it, I've done it plenty of times, but going into a Link 4 is not often again either, but it's more about how many matches I played with it or duels, Borload, Appalosa. I mean, like I said, there's actual, one of the boards I've done with this, get the Black Luster Super Soldier on board, get the effect from the beginning night to do the, uh, get, banish one of the cards from their hand, get the Chaos Dragon Levianair on board as well, get one from their hand, and then make Appalosa. And then see what they can try and do about that. And then for the rest, we do all rank fours. And... Evil Swarm Exiton, Tornado Dragon, most of you guys know what all of these do. Abyss Dweller, especially, I don't know, I feel like this card always comes and goes since it has been, you know, come to existence throughout the meta. Especially back when Shadals and <laughs> BA was going around. Cowboy, and then a Redoer. Well... This one was pretty much just kind of the deck I've been messing around with for a little while here just for fun. Like I said, just for locals and just because I have it and just trying to show some different deck profiles than, deck, bleh, bleh, deck profiles than what you typically see. And I know there's actually not too many Black Luster deck profiles out there for some of these, I guess, you know, less popular decks. But you know, I was a little off my game as well. I'm a little tired. It's a little late. If you guys are... You know, 
like usual comment like subscribe feedback is always appreciated dislikes if you guys do at least just expl explain why and then any recommendations is always awesome for the side deck again it's all depends on what you want to do i feel like the meta is really unstable at the moment kind of deciding where it's going to go once the mega tins comes out but i pretty much run three danko seca three twin twisters i had three msts but i switched it for three ash blossoms three called by the grave and then you know something else whatever you feel like throwing in there i think maybe two ghost ogres or something like that but appreciate your guys' time thank you guys very much for watching the video and uh like i said stick around subscribe i will be posting more and again i always appreciate the feedback you guys have a great night